Hi, my dear viewers. On the eve of uh, the World Physiotherapy Day, I see a lot of people who are coming into uh, associations. There are a lot of associations being formed in uh, Tamil Nadu especially. Uh, that is very good. Uh, for me, I don't have any objection on that. Uh, if their intentions are good and if they are progressing and coming into the social life for fighting for the uh, upliftment of physiotherapy, I really welcome everybody um, because that is not going to harm in any way the profession uh, because they are all coming to social life not like the others who constrain uh, themselves only to their uh, personal life like myself example they come to the uh, politics of uh, physical profession physical therapy profession just to serve that is what i assume but here i have a request for all these associations who are formed recently or traditionally who have been the forerunners in the associations in tamil nadu dr mgr medical university the research topic that is the subject research methodology and biostatistics is still a non-exam going paper so what is the big deal in this the big deal is this is how we prioritize research in the field of physical therapy every field has prioritized research because they know if there is research then only there will be development that's why they always call it as r d research and development it happens hand in hand if uh, if a profession do not go on research very seriously and the government or the university uh, is not considering research for a profession that is not a good scenario this is the tamil nadu government university and it is being run for years together many of the stalwarts in the field of physical therapy have educated from this particular university we do have representatives in the board of studies from physical therapy but still this research paper is not an exam going paper and if that's not an exam going paper you all know what sort of interest we show towards that particular subject this is a real concern for everybody at least for the forthcoming people but because we are not giving them knowledge of research in a proper way but we are asking them to do research in the final year that is absolutely uh, not the right way it should happen so without criticizing anybody without pulling down anybody's reputation i keep a, a sincere request to all these associations uh, to take this particular thing very seriously and if possible conduct a, a rally in front of uh, dr nj medical university to make them understand that research is very much needed for the field of physiotherapy and for the forthcoming budding students because they are the stakeholders for this without giving them the proper knowledge of research this is not going to lead uh, suddenly into a transformation in the post graduation or in an uh, in the phd uh, level so that they come up with a beautiful research it is not going to happen at all it should start from the grassroots level and they should uh, be accustomed and uh, uh, introduced to research how to interpret research at least in the undergraduation though they are not being trained for conducting research they should be educated at least how to interpret research how to uh, know the basics of research and what is a quality research and how to find evidence for their practice this is immense because after undergraduation they should do evidence based practice when most of the private universities adopting research and uh, going way beyond the expectations were uh, 5 5 to 10 years before we never expected these much these sort of uh, uh, reach will be there in research from the other universities uh, but still our tamil nadu mgr medical university is lacking behind and uh, uh, they are very poor and the syllabus is not yet updated still um, there was an uh, syllabus which was coming up recently like advanced uh, uh, physical therapy uh, which included everything uh, from cupping dry needling uh, manipulation sacrocranial craniosacral therapies visual manipulation all these things in one subject and uh, that is also i don't know what is the uh, ideology behind that uh, by putting all these uh, interventions into one paper and presenting it in the final years until then these people were driving a bullet cart and finally in the final year they are uh, taught how to ride a aeroplane so that is how uh, 
and I don't give due uh, recognition for uh, all these therapies I mentioned but just I am saying and again this paper is also withdrawn from undergraduate I don't know what is the ideology going behind uh, uh, the people who are in board of studies uh, without hurting them I am just keeping this as a request to them whoever is representing our board of studies to Dr. Tamil Nadu MGR Medical University please emphasize on the need of this paper on research and evidence based practice so that uh, the bulk of the students coming out from Tamil Nadu will be knowledgeable and will not be uh, like lame people who doesn't know what is research and they very significantly they will be not competing properly with the other private university students because you have to set the benchmark for the uh, academics in Tamil Nadu thank you so much and my sincere request to all the associations if anybody is coming forward to do this thing, myself and people who are supporting me humbly will come and stand behind you to protest for this. Thank you.